Pramod, congrats. You have 20 lakhs per annum package. You are hired as a basically senior automation tester. Oh, thank you. It means I will be getting 1.6 lakhs per month. No, who told you? So this is this happens many of you with you, right? With basically you have certain things in your mind. Okay, this is what the salary I will be getting because per, per annum, they have given you some number. For example, it's suppose it's a 24 lakh, right? But in hand, you get a different salary, right? If that's the case, because in this video, I'm going to discuss about what exactly is the take home salary for especially for software testers. We're going to see with a proper example, how your salary is properly divided and how you can basically manage your salary in a better way, which I have personally used. Okay, so let's start. Awesome. So guys, please make sure you watch this video on 1.5x so that you can save your time and please watch it completely. This is very, very important. Okay. First of all, let's take this example. So I have a take home salary calculator with me. So let's say I am working in a tech yon, right? So one of the reporty I am basically doing and I am working as a automation tester, right? So automation engineer, senior automation engineer. Suppose I'm getting almost like 24 lakh, uh, 24 lakh almost uh, with uh, years experience. I think let's say almost five plus generally people have it something like this or uh, 24 lakhs. This is what it is. But again, if you see properly, right? I think with five plus years, 24 lakh is uh, average package uh, with automation. And you will be assuming that you will be getting 12. You will be directly dividing with this 12 and you are thinking, okay, 12, two lakhs per annum I will be getting, right? You're absolutely wrong. Absolutely wrong on this case because now see, so there are uh, three tax regime in India, especially, right? So we are going to select with, we are going to go with the old one, let's say, and let's calculate. And now you can see you will be getting around 1.53 to 1.58. What happened, Pramod? What happened? Where is my 50,000? Those are basically your taxes. Now let's understand. See, actually your salary overall, whatever that you get right here, it is divided into a multiple, multiple components. If you see, you have a CTC of a that's basically the cost to company, which is different. Whenever HR generally give you the number, right? It's a cost to company. It is not exactly the in hand salary. That's the one of the uh, one of the uh, mind blown thing that I have noticed, noticed also, right? This is what it is. So again, uh, there will be uh, some kind of uh, EPF, which is nothing but your provisional funds and all, which will be basically deducted. Graduity will be deducted. After that, if you see, right, if you have basically given some kind of ATC, HRAs, which is given to you, professional taxes, then your taxable income becomes this. There's a standard deduction, which is added your medical insurance, professional tax, because uh, this company is in Bangalore. So professional tax will be basically cut. And after that actual salary, your taxable salary will become this. In this case, you have a, almost this tax. So which basically, if you properly divide, this is the amount, which is 1,53,000 to 1.58. It depends sometimes, right? This is what the exact amount you will be getting. So base salary, so your salary is basically divided into multiple parts. So you will see there is a base salary, which is the amount that you will be getting. So base salary is very, very low. If you see only 60,000 in this case, right? Then you are getting a house rent site, right? So you can base, you have to show if you have more than this rent, it doesn't make sense. If you have less than this, then it's a saving for you. But again, if you have, this is the, this is the amount that house rent they will be, they are basically giving you. This is the medical insurance EPF, which is uh, the provident fund, employee provident fund, which basically they are taking you home loan. I don't think many, many people will have it. And this is what the income tax, which is almost like 35,000, which is basically getting deducted, right? So now overall, if you see, uh, even if you recalculate, right, you will see that this is the amount you will be getting it. Now, how you can basically make it more, right? You can, what you can do is uh, apart from this, what you can do, you can do maximum 1.8, 1.5 lakh of ATC so that you can have some investment added, right? See, now you will have like more than more, almost like 3,000, 4,000, which will be increased, but you have to basically invest in ATC. In ATC, you can have mutual funds, which is your ELSS, right? And there are medical insurance and other things that also, right, you can add, right? So, so now this is what actually I have noticed. See, this is the very, very important. I wanted to highlight this always, always, always your take home salary will be less than whatever you don't divide it directly. This is not a correct way. Another important thing, which I have, I generally do it is please invest in ATC. You can do ELSS, you can do mutual funds, PF, PPFs, right? Multiple things are there. You can basically do just check out what other investment that you can do to save your taxes on the ATC. This is provided by government, right? Legally, you are basically saving yourself from the taxes. This is very, very important. Another important thing. Um, you can do medical insurances, right? If you have parents, if you have senior parents, you can add medical insurances also so that you can add some of the, you can save uh, taxes on that also. That is there. And if you have a home loan, of course, suppose if you have a home loan, 
uh, which is there right definitely you will see the amount will increase because this home loan per month but but exactly you can do is you can showcase that okay i have a home loan emi which is coming right now and it's right now i'm staying in a home loan and i have a home loan 20000 is going so you can add this thing and it, you can showcase that thing also right so depending upon them means discuss with your ca properly i'm just giving you a rough idea based on this right i hope this basically helps this is the take home salary for a software tester especially uh, this is a senior automation tester in techion in bangalore but i have basically discussed again overall numbers are basically plus minus so don't take it exactly but yeah this is mostly it is i hope this uh, this this video helps it for this it is helping you in nature let me know just type yes in the comment it was helpful and i'll create more videos around this what is the real things are happening with the software tester and software developers and devops right so this is where right if you're existing subscriber thanks a lot for watching if you are new one consider subscribing i create videos around software testing productivity and now overall uh in around the software engineering and i'll share my 11 years experience as a manager okay thanks for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye